Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Poor Man Pedals. Today we are going to give this guitar a bit of a makeover. Hey guys, so many of you may remember a while ago I bought this blue guitar on eBay for less than a hundred bucks and I bought it as a project guitar. And I went ahead and I already did some things. I swapped out the pickups for some Dragonfire Area 52s. Uh, I've gone ahead, I've actually shielded the cavity with some copper tape and the pit guard with some copper tape. Um, and I swapped out the nut for a tusk nut and the trees for tusk trees. And I swapped these out for some generic uh, locking tuners. Um, but, <laughs> I've decided to that it it needs a bit of in a visual overhaul still. So what I'm gonna do, I was I was able to contact the people at Music Lily. A uh, huge shout out to them. I contacted them and they were they were uh, willing to send me some some parts to help me do this makeover. So what we're gonna do, they were kind enough to send out a white pearl Lloyd back cover for me, which is going to look nice with the matching white pearl Lloyd pick guard. I think that's going to look real nice on here uh, instead of the plain white. Uh, and then they also sent me these fun knobs that have, I think they said they were abalone or abalone uh, things in the center. I think that's going to really look nice on here. Um, and finally, the thing I'm most excited for is they were willing to send me a Wilkinson bridge that I am going to put on here. And this bridge I wanted for a few different reasons. One... It has more modern looking uh, saddles, which I personally prefer. It has the the nice shape here to kind of block in the saddles, help them help keep them straight. It also the arm is a pull out and push in. None of that screwing nonsense that I currently have to deal with. I hate the screw on tremolo arms. I hate them, hate them, hate them, hate them. So I'm very excited for this upgrade. Um, so those are all the upgrades that we're gonna be doing right now. And I'm very excited to do this. Um, I, I got these shortly after I had restrung my guitar and so it took me a while. And then I recently broke a string on my guitar and thought, yeah, why not? Now seems like a good time to uh, just swap everything out. Um, I will go ahead and have links in the description below for all the parts that they were kind enough to send out. Uh, please support the channel by subscribing and liking and commenting. Uh, also, you can support the channel by using any of our affiliate links in the description below. And a uh, couple, let's see, um, I think, oh, there will be one more um, uh, what one more part of the makeover happening here on the fretboard, but that will actually be a different video. Um, so I'm very excited for that one as well. So I'm very excited. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna start taking this thing apart and uh, swapping out parts. So here we go.
Well, guys, as you can see, uh, I took some time and I uh, got those upgrades installed, except for the backplate. I haven't done the backplate yet, uh, but that's going to be simple enough. Um, I think this looks so, it, so cool now. Um, I really dig the Perloid Pit Guard, the Avalone uh, knobs, just, I love it. I absolutely love it. I love the Wilkinson Bridge that I got. Um, it, I love having, it's a pull, a push in, um, and I love the more modern looking saddles. I don't have to worry about, oh shoot, this is too tight now. I can't spin it, I can't move it anymore. Or, oh, if I need to move it a different way, I'm gonna loosen it. I don't have to worry about that anymore, guys. It's joyous. Um, I do want to talk about a few things that uh, came up when I was working on this project, though. Um, I think these are worth talking about. Uh, so first off uh all links will be in the bi in the description below to uh music lily's amazon store they will be affiliate links please support the channel uh music lily has been absolutely wonderful to work with on this project um please go support them uh a couple of things came up and they are all my fault uh number one I don't know that you can really tell in this video, but right here, the high E string is like right on the edge of the fretboard and the low E string is really indented. That's because this bridge, I did not install it correctly. Uh, I'm going to fix this. I just really wanted to get this video out, um, but I'm going to fix this and uh, realign it. <laughs> Uh, I tried going off of the pit guard, but that was another mistake that I had. Um, Music Lily, they were kind enough to send me this pit guard. I absolutely love this pit guard. I picked it because it had the right number of screw holes, it said. And uh, sure enough, it did have the right number of screw holes. They were a little off. And back here, there's a bit wider of a gap than the bridge. The bridge doesn't sit flush what had happened and i didn't realize this until i was installing a million other things on this um but uh i picked the right bridge for spacing and everything because this is an import guitar it's not an american made fender or even a mexican made one uh so it's got you know that narrower uh width for the strings and so I got the right bridge, but apparently this, this pit guard is meant for an American made or Mexican made guitar. Um, and I went and I looked on their Amazon shop and I could not find any for, I, I, I look, I mean, I've already got it installed, so it's kind of whatever. Um, but I, I looked on their site. I didn't, I could not find on their Amazon store a, uh, scratch, a pit guard, scratch plate, whatever you want to call it for a, an import guitar, uh, in the, uh, white pearl. They might have it in a different color. I don't know, but I really want the white pearl. Um, so that's probably just something that I'm going to have to live with. I will be realigning the bridge, uh, because, yeah, it, it's a little hard to play with a string that's about to fall off the edge of the fretboard. Um, so those are some mistakes that I've made. Uh, a couple of things I want to note. Uh, number one, um, I don't know. I mean, this is a Wilkinson bridge, so I don't think Music Lily makes these bridges. Uh, Music Lily does make some bridges, though, and... I would leave the note. This note is for music for Wilkinson to fix and for Music Lily to definitely take into consideration <laughs> as they make bridges. Uh, but with these pop-in bridges, please, please, please make it easier to access 
uh, the adjustment screw for holding in the uh, arm, the tremolo arm. Uh, I say this because right now uh, it's down and you can't even see it because it's actually inside the body. Uh, and so if I ever wanted to adjust the screw for popping this in and out, right now I have it so I can't pop it out at all. But if I ever wanted to adjust that, I have to take the bridge out, um, which is kind of a pain. I was just double checking. Yeah, you can't go in from the back side. Uh, you can see once again how uh, off my uh, bridge installation job was. <laughs> but yeah, that was uh, definitely, that is definitely a bit of a con. Uh, if you ever want to adjust that, you do have to take, you have to uninstall the bridge in order to adjust it. And that, that's a bit of a pain. Um, and I say that because I know there are some pop-in ones where it's a lot easier to adjust that. Uh, my Parker, for instance, uh, it has a pop-in tremolo arm with an adjustment screw that's all just right up here. I wish that this was like that. Um, as for the pit guard itself, uh, I'm trying to think, oh, really my, my main complaint, and it's not even that big, it's this nice four ply where it's the white, a black, white, and then a very thin sheet of that white pearl. Um, I kind of wish that the white down underneath was white pearl as well to kind of add to the look, but it's really whatever. Um, oh, another thing is I, the, uh, screw holes are not countersunk really. I think there's some countersinking, but not as much as I would have liked. Um, I'm actually probably going to, when I go to adjust the bridge, I'm probably going to borrow a friend's, uh, countersink bit and countersink them a little bit more for these screws, uh, just so that the screws sit a bit more right, for lack of a better word. Um, overall, though, I am very, very happy. If you do purchase one of these pick guards, uh, A, make sure you use our affiliate link to help support the channel. B, keep in mind, I found there was a protective film on it, which is normal, and then there was another protective film on it. Um, so when you go to really install it, make sure you get all the protective films off. Um, the bridge outside of that adjustment screw i absolutely love it um it's got a steel block full it's you know full steel block it fits in this import guitar um it came with a brand new claw which i actually installed i took out the old claw probably didn't have to but i thought eh why not so i put in the new claw uh springs i decided to go with four you can go with three, five, two, one. Probably not one. Probably one at least two. I personally wouldn't go lower than three. But, uh, you know, I got the grounding done. Um, overall, absolutely love this. Thank you so much to Music Lily for helping support the channel. Uh, please go show them some love. If you go to buy some guitar gear, consider buying from them with our affiliate links and support both of us. Um, absolutely absolutely love the way that this looks now now i can't wait to go and uh fix that bridge <laughs> uh until next time poor man pedals is out